day 14, I've woken up sick, which is the last thing I need, as you can hear with my nose and my throat. Weight is 161.6. Don't think I'm gonna work out today. Probably back to the whiteboard for some education. Let's start the day. Been working all morning, off to get a coffee. Weather's nice, but I'm not feeling good, so no workout for me today. No workout, so back in the classroom. I look like crap, but let's ignore that. Okay, today we're talking foods, good and bad foods, because we all know there's good and bad foods, right? We all know there's certain foods we should eat just to get ripped and lean. Like, you know, you eat certain foods and you just, weight just drops off. And let's look at some of these on the list here. We've got five on each one. We've got chicken. I mean, I'm not even going about that. You know that. Sweet potatoes, minerals and vitamins, ovs, avocados. Avocados get you ripped, right? I think so. I mean, you see the body coach, right? He's shredded. And all he does is eat avocados. Kale, micros, coconut oil, healthy fats. So, you know, you eat these foods and you just get lean. And we've got the bad foods over here with a, you know, there's a smiley face because they're good on the good side. And the bad side, there's an unsmiley face. It's sad because they're bad foods. They're going to get you fat. Pizza. I mean, it tastes delicious, but have you ever seen a skinny person eat pizza? Neither have I. Chocolate. White bread. Honey. Any sugar in your diet, boom. You just become fat instantly. And French fries, that's work of the devil. So these good and these bad foods, and you know that you can eat these and stay lean and eat these and you get fat. Let us shatter this paradigm. This old setup is all rubbish. This is all rubbish, and this is how we think. This is how we think. This is how what trainers preach. This is what I used to preach. This is what the media will preach. But you know why it's rubbish? Because let's get science involved. Both these foods, good or bad, whatever you want to call them, contain calories and macros. All of them, right? So you can get very fat eating these good, clean foods, be a clean eater, because you can overeat and then you're storing body fat. And you could lose weight and get lean and get skinny eating the bad foods. Right? Doesn't make any sense. No, it does make sense because all foods contain calories and macros. So let's get rid of good. Let's get rid of bad. And let's just take out this divider. And let's just, these are all foods. That's all they are. They're all just foods. Phone ringing. Thank you. Yes, on this side, some of these foods are going to have more micronutrients, more vitamins, more minerals, but that's going to have no difference on body composition, on losing fat. And I'll always advise clients to have a 70-80% balance of whole foods, but you can eat these and lose fat. I eat all of these and I eat all of these. And I can lose fat, I can drop weight, I can stay lean and so do my clients. Why? Because we don't ignore energy balance. We don't ignore calories and macros. All of these contain calories and macros. Eat the majority of the time clean whole foods. Factor in some foods you enjoy, then you can sustain it, then you can carry on. You're not going back to Slimming World or the Body Coach or Weight Watchers and joining the hundreds and thousands, if not millions of people that haven't got results. So all it is is learn about calories and macros, learn about energy balance, and eat the foods you enjoy. Pretty simple, right? Okay, back to work. Last meal of the day looks like this. Two slices of brown bread toasted. 20 grams of peanut butter on each one, and an apple. With chocolate protein oats, so you know how we do. This is my low carb veggie dins. We've got a cheese omelet here with two egg whites, two full eggs, and over there we have some tofu, some spinach, some carrots, some onions, with some spicy pepper sauce. Last meal of the day, dessert with high protein Greek yogurt and cinnamon. Macro check, keeping carbs low today as I didn't do any workout, but I still got my 10,000 steps in. 10 grams over my fat, unfortunately, but not the end of the world. Protein 150, not exactly on my target, but still better than nothing for a sick day. Not the most eventful vlog, guys. Being under the weather isn't the one, but I'm gonna get an early night, rest up, hopefully have high energy tomorrow and get back into some sort of activity. If you do like the videos and the whole series, please like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.